Once upon a time, a tiger was caught in a trap. He clawed and gnawed at the bars of his cage, but he could not escape. While the tiger was struggling to escape, a Hindu holy man happened to pass by. The tiger called out to the holy man, "O、oh, pious Brahman, help me! Let me out of this cage!" The word "pious" means religious or devoted to one's religion. A Brahman is a Hindu priest. Now the Brahman believed in being kind and gentle to everyone he met, and it was part of his religion to treat animals like brothers. But at the same time, he saw the danger of letting the tiger out. Why should I let you out? Asked the Brahman. If I do, you will probably eat me. No, no, said the tiger. I swear I won't do that. On the contrary, I will be forever grateful to you and serve you forever. On the contrary means the opposite of what was said before. The tiger sobbed and sighed and wept so piteously that the pious Brahman's heart softened, and at last he agreed to open the door of the cage. As soon as he was out of the cage, the tiger pounced on the Brahman. What a silly man you are," said the tiger. "What is to prevent me from eating you now?" "Nothing," said the Brahman. "Nothing at all." But brother tiger, consider what it is you are about to do. Isn't it unjust or unfair to eat me when I have done you a good turn by letting you out of the cage? Do you think it is fair to eat me up when you promised that you would not do so? It is perfectly fair," said the tiger. Ask any one, and they will tell you that this is the way of the world. Will they? Said the Brahman. Suppose we ask the next three things we see. Will they agree that it is fair for you to eat me? The Brahman wants someone or something to agree that the tiger shouldn't eat him. Now there happened to be an old buffalo standing a little way off by the side of the road. The Brahman called out to him, "Brother Buffalo, what do you think?" Is it fair for Brother Tiger here to devour me or gobble me up quickly when I have freed him from his cage? Is it just or fair for him to eat me when he has promised not to do so? When I was young and strong," said the buffalo in a hoarse, tired voice, "I served my master well. I carried heavy loads and carried them far. But now that I am old and weak," How does he reward me for my years of service? He leaves me here by the side of the road without food or water. I say, let the tiger eat the Brahmin, for these men are an ungrateful bunch. Aha! said the tiger. You see that the buffalo's judgment is against you. Indeed, it is," said the Brahmin. But let us hear a second opinion. A few yards away, there was an ancient banyan tree that cast a shadow on the road. Brother Banyan said, "The Brahman, what do you think? Is it fair for Brother Tiger here to eat me when I have freed him from his cage? Is it just for him to do this when he promised he would not?" The banyan tree looked down and sighed. In the summer, said the banyan tree, when it is hot. Men take shelter from the sun in the shade I supply, but when the sun goes down, they break off my branches and burn them in their fires. I say, let the tiger eat the Brahman, for these men are selfish and think only of themselves. You see that the banyan tree agrees with the buffalo. The tiger said, "Indeed, he does," said the Brahman. But let us hear one more opinion. The Brahman looked down the road and spotted a jackal jogging along the edge of the woods. Brother Jackal, he called out, "What do you think? Is it fair for Brother Tiger here to eat me when I have freed him from his cage?" "I'm sorry," said the jackal. "I'm afraid I don't quite understand. Would you mind explaining exactly what happened?" The Brahman explained what had happened. He told the whole story from start to finish. When he was done, the jackal just shook his head in a distracted sort of way, as if he did not quite understand. If someone is distracted, they are unable to concentrate or unable to pay attention. It's very odd," he said. "I hear what you are saying, but I can't seem to understand it. 
It seems to go in at one ear and out at the other. Could you take me to the place where all of this happened? If I can see where these things happened, perhaps I will be able to understand what exactly took place. Then I can give you my opinion. So the Brahmin led the jackal back to the cage with the tiger trailing along behind them, licking his chops in anticipation of a tasty meal. So this is the cage, said the jackal. Yes, said the Brahmin. And what happened exactly? The Brahmin told the whole story over again, not missing a single detail. Oh, my poor brain, cried the jackal, wringing its paws. Let me see. How did it all begin? You were in the cage and the tiger came walking by. Pooh, interrupted the tiger. What a fool you are. I was the one in the cage. Of course, cried the jackal. That is very helpful. So let's see. I was in the cage, but wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. I was never in the cage, was I? Let me see. The tiger was in the Brahmin and the cage came walking by. No, that's not it either. Oh dear, I fear I shall never understand. You are not listening to me, roared the tiger. It's so simple. Look here. I am the tiger. Yes, my lord. And that is the Brahmin. Yes, my lord. And that is the cage. Yes, my lord. And I was in the cage. Do you understand? Yes, no, please, my lord. Well, cried the tiger impatiently. Excuse me, my lord, but how did you get in? How? Why, in the usual way, of course. Oh, dear me, I'm getting confused again. Please don't be angry, my lord, but what is the usual way? At this, the tiger lost his patience. He ran into the cage, bellowing, This way! Now do you understand how it was? I think I'm beginning to understand, said the jackal. But why did you not let yourself out? Because the gate was closed, moaned the tiger. This gate, said the jackal. Yes, roared the tiger. Then the jackal gave the gate a little nudge and it swung closed with a clicking sound. And that clicking sound, said the jackal, what does that mean? That means the cage is locked, said the Brahmin. Does it, said the jackal. Does it really? Well, in that case, brother Brahmin, I would advise you to leave it locked. And as for you, my friend, he said to the tiger, I suspect it will be a good while before you can find anyone to let you out again. Then the jackal made a little bow to the Brahmin and went on his way.